This is Fire and Ice by Robert Frost. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice. Uh, this is kind of a silly rhyming poem, but it talks about a big important thing. The end of the world. And he says the world is either going to end in one way or another. It's either going to end in fire or ice. But he doesn't mean elemental fire and ice. He means emotional fire and ice. He says the world is either going to end in the desire the passion, the wanting that is fire, right? Fire to Robert Frost represents as a symbol of wanting things, of being desirous. And so the world's gonna end because people desire things. Or the world can end because of ice, which Frost says is symbolized by ice, right? Hatred, you know, being like this idea that we're cold, we close ourselves off to people, we other people, we dehumanize them, we say, oh, they're not like us, you know, they don't deserve to live. And he says, you know, I know enough of hate and, you know, it would probably be about the same to die of hate as it is to die of desire. And Frost is doing a lot of things with this symbol and this metaphor. Uh, one of the more interesting early things he's doing is he's saying, uh, the world isn't going to end because of some, because nature did it, because fire and ice did it. The world is going to end because of people. The world is going to end because we did it, right? Either out of our wanting of things, our greed, our desire, or out of our hatred for other people, the world is going to end. And they're the same, right? Wanting things, uh, it's taking things, desire for stuff and for people and for things and wanting is just as bad. He says it's just as great, which means it's just as bad. It's just as horrible as hating them and icing them out. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice. The end of the world for Frost comes from our desire or our hatred. My question for you today is... What do you think is going to bring around the end of the world? What do you think will doom us? Is it desire? Is it hatred? Or is it something else? Make sure you give a full and complete answer and use some kind of example from history, entertainment, literature, your personal life. Thank you so much and have a great day.